स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश चैप्टर फ्रॉम द सेल्फिश जॉइंट वेलकम चिल्ड्रन टू दिस सेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट इज अ वंडरफुल स्टोरी ऑफ अ सेल्फिश जॉइंट रिटन बाय ऑस्कर फिंगल ऑफ फ्लाहाटी विल्स वाइल्ड ही वॉज एन आयरिश प्ले राइट नॉवलिस्ट एसिस्ट एंड अ पोएट The Selfish Giant is a short fantasy story for children which revolves around a giant who builds a wall to keep children out of his garden but learns compassion from the innocence of the children. So let's start reading the story. Every afternoon as they were coming from school the children used to go and play in the giant's garden. It was a large lovely garden with soft green grass. Here and there over the grass stood beautiful flowers like stars and there were 12 peach trees that in the spring time broke out into delicate blossoms of pink and purple and in the autumn bore rich fruit the birds sat on the trees and sang so sweetly that the children used to stop their games in order to listen to them how happy we are they cried to each other one day The giant came back. He had been to visit his friend the Cornish ogre and had stayed with him for 7 years. After the 7 years he determined to return to his own castle. When he arrived he saw the children playing in the garden. "What are you doing here?" he cried in a very gruff voice and the children ran away. "My own garden is my own garden," said the giant. "Anyone can understand that." and i will allow nobody to play in it but myself so he built a high wall all around it and put up a notice board trespassers will be prosecuted the poor children had now nowhere to play they tried to play on the road but the road was very dusty and full of hard stones and they did not like it they used to wander round the high walls when their lessons were over and talk about the beautiful garden inside how happy we were there they said to each other then the spring came and all over the country there were little blossoms and little birds only in the garden of the selfish giant it was still winter the birds did not care to sing in it as there were no children and the trees forgot to blossom once a beautiful flower put its head out from the grass but when it saw the notice board it was so sorry for the children that it slipped back into the ground again and went off to sleep the only people who were pleased were the snow and the frost spring has forgotten this garden they cried so we will live here all the year round the snow covered up the grass with her great white cloak and the frost painted all the trees silver Then they invited the north wind to stay with them and he came he was wrapped in furs and he roared all day about the garden and blew the chimney pots down this is a delightful spot he said we must ask the hell to visit so the hell came every day for 3 hours he rattled on the roof on the castle till he broke most of the slates and then he ran round and round the garden as fast as he could go He was dressed in grey and his breath was like ice. I cannot understand why the spring is so late in coming, said the selfish giant. As he sat at the window and looked out at his cold white garden, I hope there will be a change in the weather. But the spring never came, nor the summer. The autumn gave golden fruit to every garden, but to the giant's garden she gave none. He is too selfish she said so it was always winter there and the north wind and the hell and the snow danced about through the trees 